This video is the continuation of feature modules in Angular and in previous video we have discussed about what is feature modules and what are the uses of feature modules in your application, why do we need them and how many ways are there for loading feature modules in Angular and we have discussed eager loading in that video and we have created a separate application for understanding the terms of eager loading in Angular. So I'm going to remind you again, the, we have three ways to load feature modules in Angular. First one is eager loading, where all the modules get loaded first, then our application get started. In the case of lazy loading, first our application get started, then modules will be loaded whenever they are needed. And in the case of preloading, which is the third one, first our application get started, then all the modules will be loaded automatically. And in this video, we are going to discuss this term lazy loading. So let's create an application for that. First of all, locate the folder where you want to make that application. I'm going to create it here. So copy this path. Now open your command prompt or PowerShell if you are using Windows. And if you are using Linux or Mac OS, then use the terminal or whatever we say to it. So I'm going to open this PowerShell. Now just type here CD and press enter now. Now locate this folder Angular projects. Sorry, not Angular projects. Let's clear this thing right here ng new and let's name it lazy loading angular routing it will create a routing file for us press enter and let's wait it will ask one more thing yeah css so it will take a while, so let's wait. Okay, our project has created. Now we have to go inside this folder, lazy loading angular. So type here CD lazy loading angular. And that was the name of our project that we have created, lazy loading angular. Okay, let's see lazy loading angular let's copy this cd okay fine and type here code dot and this folder is going to open in visual studio code okay fine i think yeah it is fine so let's close this thing So let's open our terminal. You can select it from here. Terminal. View terminal. Let's run the application. ng serve dash dash open. It will be open in default browser. And let's open this SRC folder. App folder and open this app component.html folder it is the default component for this module and, and you might be wondering where it is defined i know you guys know it but who does not know it i'm gonna show you it is defined here inside this bootstrap here so this app component is going to be the first component that will be loaded in this application okay and it's the HTML file for that component so let's see let's wait by the way I think it is asking me something and no so it is the default application for us that is provided by angular I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna write here h2 welcome 
okay fine open a new terminal okay and type here lazy loading in angular and i forget the command okay so let's copy this thing and now we will paste it here and it will generate so let's generate this order module fine and it is going to be create a module for us which will be orders module so wait okay now our order module has been created here with this routing file it is the order routing file it is orders dot component file here is our order component this one okay and it is our orders module so let's create another module and let's name it rather than orders it will be customers and change here customers fine press enter now we have generate generated another module and it is here this customer module.ts file and it is our customer component file here so it is our customer component So type here customer list fine and open it open this thing type here order list order list so let's see how can we use it in our default module which is this module app module now Angular has automatically created the routing for it and these are the default route created by Angular. So in the case of orders, it will import this file and this module. It will import this module and this module and the default file for this customer module or order module is defined here okay let's see i'm gonna show you so here it is the default file which is customer component it means whenever we are hitting this customer module this customer module the customer component file will be opened and if we hit this url which is slash orders then it will go to find orders module and it will display the default file for order modules which is defined here here so it is the default file for this orders component okay so that's it how it is working everything is fine now and we will define some html part for this open this app.component.html file now we will define here ul li a and it will have this router link fine home just copy this guy paste it here it will be customers C U S T U M E R S customers right here customers 
customers. Okay, now right here orders type here orders for let's define some CSS for it. So right here U L L I list style none it will be display in line fine and margin right will be 5px okay ulliA and it will be text decoration text decoration none padding 5px let's see okay and border 1px solid is customers not double t single t okay so right now we haven't loaded anything so i'm gonna open this network path network tab and let's see let's press this guy okay so when we click here in customer tab it has loaded this module src app and blah 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 and when i am clicking in this orders so it has loaded actually it is not working right now so let me see what is happened here so it is the path and orders okay it will be kept small o orders customers so let's open this thing app dot routing orders and paste it here orders open this customer copy this customers and paste it here let's see how is it going okay 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 i got it i haven't defined router outlet here if we haven't defined router outlet then where it is going to be displayed we need this router outlet for that okay fine so let's oh, here customer list and order list so let's remove this thing and refresh our application now when i am clicking in customers link then this customer module is getting loaded when i am clicking here then this order module is getting loaded so they are not loaded automatically we are loading them whenever we are needed okay so here right now nothing is loaded we do not need anything when i click on this customer then this customer module is loaded when I click in home, nothing gets loaded. When I click here in orders, the orders module gets loaded. So that's how lazy loading works in Angular. And it is an amazing feature that can handle the load of your application. You do not need to unnecessarily load all the modules. You will load whenever you will need it. And there might be a case some modules will never need some modules will never needed in your project by a particular customer or by a particular user so that was all about lazy loading i hope you get understand okay let's create one more component let's see how it works so let's create nggc at customer nggc it will be defined here this inside this customers 
folder we will create another folder components and components c o m p o n e n t s components add customer that's it so let's wait let's wait okay it has created inside this customer folder and inside that customer folder we have this components folder and here we have this add customer right here add new customer right here something like that lorem it's just a dummy data nothing else and okay so let's see what we can do so first of all let's open this routing file of customers i think where it is okay so let me see yeah it is here so let's define another route for it and copy this guy paste it here add customer component let's name it add customer okay so we have defined route here that should be fine now let's open this app routing module ts and now open this file and let's define another link here uh, it is customer so it is it will be customer slash add customer add customer it will be something like that okay so open the browser and inspect it open this network tab so when we click here in add customer see this customer module file has loaded and when we click here in order module in order link then this order module file has loaded so that is how lazy loading works and now we have created a new component for this customer module so i know sorry i guess now you have much more idea about loading a module in angular how to load them with eager loading and how to load them with this what we say it lazy loading okay that's it for now if you have found this video helpful then please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel then please hit that subscribe button so we'll catch up later in the next video